is really stupid. How stupid this is stupid does. Really? Well, I'm not stupid, okay? I have to tell you this, and I'm really sick and tired of you portraying me as being stupid. I really, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's not nice. Bethany, okay? It's not. But you baked a, a fork, a knife, and a measuring cup into a that I Because it's funny. It's not funny. It's funny, and I was watching you. You weren't eating that part. It doesn't I, matter. Who cares? Have a sense of humor. Me, Your sense of humor is on other people's expense. My sense of humor is on my expense because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. And you know what? You make fun of other people because you don't care about other people's feelings. How do you, you know? know? How do you know? Because you hurt those okay, feelings. Okay. My sense of humor revolves around laughing and saying funny things. And you, you're a self-deprecator. So you open the door. Plus, you have a lot of things to say about everybody else, about them being old. So I'm not even buying any of this bullshit. Verb, verb, Jules, find a verb, 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 verb. I need find a verb. A verb. I yeah, I need a verb. This is my point. This is for you from your birthday, which I missed. Thank you. <laughs> no, but you know what? I had a very bad accident. I'm going, I'm going to do, um, well, you were, you were, like, I, I need a verb. You, well, you need, <laughs> you need. A verb. I don't have a mean bone in my body, so I, I agree go with there. that. I've been very open and honest and genuine with everyone, with my eating disorder, with my marriage. Respect that, because I, I trusted you. And I, I did. You. But and you're gonna go I behind say? my back? Okay, what you're did gonna I go... say about any of them? You've never said anything negative about my marriage? Who, who did she say that to? What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know, it's the I heard. Either Jules has an eye twitch when she's going like that, or Dorinda Medler is whispering into her ear. You don't come attack someone on hearsay. First of all, I've said how much I like Michael a lot. And have I talked about your marriage behind your back? Honestly, I don't really think so. I actually don't. I want to know right now. So you should cop because I want to know what I said about her marriage. Well, I don't know exactly, but I think there's been speculation that their marriage isn't doing well, that that, that her eating disorder. Just saying, no, 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 no. Is she saying someone told her that? Some well, little I didn't fairy tell her pigeon. That. She's looking at you. If there's any implication that I fed her this information, it's just completely wrong. I may have encouraged her to state her mind, set the record straight, but I'm certainly not guilty of giving her a conversation I had with Bethany. After the Mexican thing, as you were so open, I said, do not be so open right yet until you know people so well, because sometimes you guys will run with it. And I will say that. Uh-huh. Because a we're little bit of running with it. Yeah, you did. Running with it. No, a little bit that night. She was very, you remember you were going through a hard time with the Mexican dinner, and you came, and you were very upset. I don't upset. remember doing anything about food that night. And so it's just a lot. What, what, and Michael's what, not, like, very food? good with the kids. I had so much going on yesterday, and then I got home at 1 o'clock in the morning. So Rio woke up, she wanted milk, like she was crying. He comes downstairs, like, angry at me because... Get her milk. That's a too. bad dynamic that you've gotten yourself into. There's just a lot of pressure. I said, shh. Don't say anything, because sometimes people can't, don't get it. If they don't know you, then it's a moment. But I only talk about the fact that I thought that you guys were insensitive about her food situation. Yeah, and I said it's very uncomfortable it. to talk I about her eating disorder. Said and I've said to you, you should be very careful about talking about your eating disorder. I agree. Because people I don't agree. understand it. I agree. And they may she interpret it. Be. So you have to present yeah, it in a way for learning. And she, she should be careful about talking gonna, about it. I agree with you. If you don't want your friends talking about it out of concern, then don't talk about it. My recovery is being open and honest, I talk about it all the time, whether it's uncomfortable or not. Don't talk about me behind my back and discount the work that I've done. I may be very skinny, and you may not like how skinny I am, but I love my body. I don't care if you think that my arms like bones. I hug my bones. And you know what? If you have a problem with me, if you think that you're worried about me, tell me to my face. That's the reason why I I'm open about it. I don't, I'm not afraid because maybe you see something I don't see. Giving them this information about me shouldn't make me vulnerable. It should be a privilege. It should make us closer. I have been distant from you because I grew I up. I noticed. Because I grew up with this my entire life. From the day that I was born until I've been Anthony, adult. I told you, and you. I am going to speak now. You don't get to be the only person to speak, okay? 